All right, guys, today we are going to talk about off-market opportunities, the pros, the cons, the whys, and the why nots, right? So yesterday, Jennifer and I were at lunch, and we were having a fun conversation with the server um, who she has... had just come through or open a few weeks back. Yep, just came through an open house. We knew that she was already working with another realtor, which is totally fine. We respect that relationship. However, she's not finding what she wants online, right? She's not finding anything that she likes on market, so she shared her frustration with us yesterday. And being the real estate matchmakers that we are, we had something perfect that was off market for her, right? So one of the main reasons that we joined our brokerage almost three years ago, or three years ago now, yep. is because we have amazing opportunities for our clients. We are with the top producing realtors and upline, our business partners, in the state of Minnesota, which means they have a ton of inventory that's off market as well. Whether that's listings that maybe their sellers don't wanna put on the market, or they're just not ready to go on the market, right? So she's super excited, very. We're gonna schedule a showing, and it's probably going to be a win-win for our seller too. Absolutely. Our sellers are building new construction. They don't wanna deal with a lot of showings. They're closing in April. Um, they want convenience, right? So now this could be ultimately the perfect fit. Right. Now from our seller's perspective, right. what are, why is it a win, but also why could it not be maybe in their best interest to sell off market, Jen? Well, I think it's a win because it takes out all of the uncertainty, right? Their home is sold, they're getting ready to wrap up their new construction build, they know exactly what they're gonna walk away with, right? They know that this buyer is secured, that their property is under contract, they don't have to deal with all the showings, all the open houses, what if it doesn't sell right away, so on and so forth. Exactly. Right? So, but the con is, well, in April, what's the market going to be like? Have rates come down a little bit? Have have showings picked up? Have we seen multiple offers again? Which we are seeing now. So there's kind of that what if, right? What, what if, if I could get more? Yeah. What if we sold for even higher than we initially wanted to? So if you guys are considering, you know, selling and you want to see, you know, what your property is worth, you know, we can give you kind of an off-market price in order to make it a win-win for everyone. And we can give you kind of what we would recommend selling for on-market, right? And then you can kind of make the decision there. You kind of have to weigh your own options. Megan and I are in your corner to support you and get you to the finish line regardless of which way we choose to get there, right? But I think that the number one step is to kind of see what kind of equity and value you have and kind of what your real estate goals are. So right. if you guys are considering selling, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are specializing as the matchmakers of real estate. Yeah, not of relationships. Correct. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining us. We would love to hear from you guys and we will see you again soon. Yeah, thanks guys.